morning. I'm standing below Lake Mason right now and uh, the water has dropped quite a bit in the mill pond. As you can see, the level usually is about two feet up from that. You can see right here on the side. You can see the rock bar that has been popped out and then the old mill. You can see the chutes open there. So the mill pond has been affected a little bit. I just saw a gentleman catch a really big catfish. Very nice, thank you. Thank you. That looked to be at least about uh, six, maybe seven pounds. So the fishing hasn't been affected as much. I personally haven't caught anything yet, I just had one bite on a little dead shad that I found similar to this stinky little thing I will try to find out more, more about what happened to the lake and the lake itself seems to be doing alright so no alarm there Hey, good morning What happened with the dam here? Oh, the... They no. said the hydraulic gate Yeah, the gave hydraulics, in. yeah, went out, but they didn't lose a lot of water or anything. I mean, it was all caught in time, so everything was fine, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, it just went down a little bit, and they got yeah. it under control, and so now it's it's fine. So that's all that happened. But the, the, the engineers showed up and fixed everything? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that was... I need a lighter. I was asking the guys from the DNR about details and they don't know anything so I was surprised that even I they know. They, they were called out to the DNR and I don't know what just because of not the mechanicals but because of the lake issue or whatever but I guess everything is fine or you know they had someone come in to repair whatever needed to be done uh -huh. 157 feet so it's all good now you know so if I if I wanted to find somebody to to tell me more details about it, who would I, I look for? I will tell you. Um, that would be Craig Hilliard. Craig Hilliard. Okay. He um, actually he owns a place next door. Oh. And he, because he's in charge of the the dam, the lifting the and all that works. kind of. The Okay. Yeah. So he's the one that knows exactly. He could tell you in perfect. detail what happened, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Yeah, he'd perfect. be the one to see. So that's the guy who owns the pheasant inn? Well, yeah, he owns the pheasant inn. Someone else is running the restaurant, but if you just even go in the restaurant, I'm they might ask. be able to tell you where Craig Hilliard is. Craig Hilliard, okay. Craig Hilliard. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, he would be the one that knows everything, you know, pretty perfect. much. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Okay, and yeah, even if So this is Lubaka, this is Craig, this is the caretaker for the Lake Mason Dam and I'm here to ask the question that's on everybody's mind, did the dam break? The dam did not break, we had a slight hydraulic leak that released the pressure and the crest gate fell 35%, which at a 35% we, could, we lost about 8 to 10 inches of water and yes. that is all. It will not open up the dump the lake. Nothing was affected. It's just a matter of fixing the pressure gauge and bringing it back up. And that's, that's already done. done. That's already done. So the fishing will be good. Yes. No fish were lost. Didn't change the geography of the lake. The lake was back up to the level. We got lucky. We had an inch and a half of rain. The lake was back up to normal level within three days, three to four days. That's fantastic. That's what everybody was worried about. We have the link back. We'll have a good fishing season. Thank you so much. Thank you. Keep yeah. taking care of it for us. We really appreciate it. This is the actual control room for the hydraulic gate. There's a look above the dam. Mason Lake. Again, a slight drop in the level. Not very drastic. 
And this is the hydraulic gate that gave in. As you can see the mark, which is where it opened up.